got to have your coffee. Whoa. All right, I think we're there. Oh, it's not time yet. I'm too early. It's supposed to start it in like... See? So, oh, all right. Well, we're there. Coven Coffee. We just ripped it on the backyard track, and I think you can see from the, uh, the thing there, from the thumbnail, we did suffer damage, but... I gotta tell you, so why is the mailman coming back? Ah, oh, dang it! I thought he was bringing another package here. Um, we did suffer a little bit of damage, but I actually don't care. Like the damage that we suffered is so superficial. Like obviously, it made it look like something broke. Nothing broke. What I suspect is I, I might not have tightened that whole shock towel brace all the way down so yeah so my bad my fault i that's what i'm thinking that that happened we're going to take it apart right now uh the pin actually still was stuck in the a-arm um nothing appears bent like this thing like wait to see this video guys <laughs> when you see this video i think you're going to be shocked at exactly what i had said would happen with this hyper tt so I have, let's put it this way, with the way I, with the way I, I drive, you know, haphazardly, uh, not, not very good, um, I'm just going to jump into the thing here, what do we got, library, my videos, I just want to jump into COVID and coffee, see who's here, see if anybody's here, COVID and coffee, see oh, we got people, we got here. nine people already, COVID and coffee, oh, we got people, <laughs> Oh my gosh. STL, what is going on? Smokey's RC, Barbecue, J.O., we got uh, Mike Jernak. Uh, let's see. Who else? Who else is here? Anybody else? RC Mass Master. We got Flat Fast Lane RC. What's going on, guy? Uh, who else we got here? Who else? Anybody else want to chime in? Nine people. Where did everyone go? I feel like Michael Jordan's kid in Space Jam. All the loony doing disappear. You got ten people. It's 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 starting to hop up. All right, so make sure you got your coffee because COVID and coffee this morning. I'm gonna show you how minor. Like I really, this little TT has been waiting for a set of tires and wheels that are just like this. And yes, it's gonna need. The ESC was totally fine. The motor was a little bit warm. Um, and you have to expect that. Is there cogging? Yes. But just like I had said, the cogging is actually so slight that it doesn't affect, like, the way I want to drive this thing. And I'm telling you right now, like, I am... You want to talk about being pumped for that backyard track? It seems like every time I go back there with Big Black... And Big Black does work out back there. That track just becomes that much better and better. Um, I am very pleased with how that backyard track is acting right now. And that backyard track is being modified and transformed for what you guys already know. Big things for the channel. You know, big things for the channel. You know, like Arma, big things for the channel. X Max, big things for the channel. DBXLE 2.0. Oh, how about this? DBXLE 3.0 for the channel. Uh, even the low C Rock Ray will, we'll, uh, well, not Rock Ray, whatever the heck the new low C is. I think it actually might be pretty cool. If it's anything, if it handles anything, anything like the DB Pro, what the hell? That, that would be awesome. I'm not really much into uh, rock bouncers, but if it if it has the characteristics of, you know, obviously I want to see more. I'm sure everybody wants to see more. I want to see more. Uh, Jo, thank you for bringing that to the channel's attention. That that's a super fine man. So, anyways, how is everybody? Dante, what's going on, guy? The wife is on the way to pick up. No way. Are you serious? Deontay, dude, wow, that's, now that's a bonus. You want to talk about a bonus? You got a double bonus coming up. Deontay, that is awesome, man. 
How did you pull that off? Did you give the puppy dog eyes? <laughs> oh, Deontay. That is Sergeant J, what is going on, brother? Evo, what's happening, man? Ah, good stuff. It's got some good coffee right there. She's seen the live? Oh, no. All right. All right. All right. That would have been funny. That would have been a riot. She saw the live and she felt guilty. Yes, I told her. Got to get the car since it's a baby. Since the baby comes, it's all <laughs> over. Hey, you know what, man? Do those little sad puppy dog guys. You know what I mean? It's all right. You know, you're still a guy on the outside. That's awesome. Dude, congratulations. You already, well, I don't know. Maybe you don't know, but I think you already know you're going to love that thing. Yeah, just, you know, remember, it's not a Creighton. You know, you know what I mean? Don't go Creighton in it. It's 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 a good ripper, though. It's it's literally, hands down, the best, best performing, in my opinion, for my channel, in my opinion, it is the best, hands down, performing buggy 110 scale of 2019 like right into 2020 so far um yeah i didn't try the tt because the tt is the exact same thing so but yeah i you're gonna love that thing man the wind is going nuts today yeah you broke it every time you took it out i'll tell you man nothing broke we had, I mean, I don't know. Were you there for the live that I did? I did a live this morning, and we swapped it out. We swapped it out to some nice, nice wheels, man. And I mean, look at, I mean, it ripped it. It ripped it nice. It, uh, yeah. I, I am actually right now. I am very happy, even though it popped a pin. Which way'd the pin go? Oh no, where'd the pin go? There it is. It's on this magnetic mat thing here. This thing is not that bad. I mean, I know I complained about it, but it's nice because when you when you drop something, it doesn't like really go anywhere. Like this pin would roll normally, and it, it actually works. I I hate to say it. I I I don't know. I don't think it's worth the ninety something bucks, but who am I to say? It's not my company. DB Pro will instantly be put on 4S with Castle 2650 and will get sent, but not much. <laughs> My God. So in other words, you're going to kill it. <laughs> yeah. Got to go, guys. All right, Evo. It was good seeing you, man. Where's Riff Raff? I can actually hear my dog wine bagging. I'll be right back. I gotta let her up. I gotta let her out.
Haley, come up here. Come on. You can come up. Whoa, what's going on? All right. All right. Sergeant J. Uh, what? How was the tree run? No, no tree, man. It didn't. It didn't hit a tree. If that's what you're asking, if it hit a tree, no, it didn't. It was all right. So it was obviously it was my fault. Something. I might not have tightened something all the way down. Um, I'm gonna find out. Obviously, there's body destruction, which I already said. All the stuff, like so, literally everything that I had said prior on the live pretty much is what happened except for the fact that i just popped a pin so uh there are braces that should take care of this little issue right here which i do have i just never upgraded it so you know i, I don't know man i don't know what to tell you other than maybe with a little bit of body modification a uh, couple of like just those minor little um, uh, uh, whatever it is there shock tower to uh, chassis brace the little chassis braces I think that this thing dude I had a blast there was let's put it this way there was one backflip that this thing did it did so many backflips in the air that I have no idea until I slow the footage down how many backflips it actually did. So it was like, I mean, literally, it was like in the air and it just went, whoa, like that. And I was just like, I was stunned. Like, it was just like, I can't even count how many backflips that was. It was probably only like three or four, but it was so fast, the backflips on it, that it was just like, wow, I am, I am really finally, finally liking this TT. For how I drive, and that's probably the reason why. It's only a 110 scale little, like, short course. You know it's a short course um, uh, truggy. You know what I mean? It's, it's that configuration. But it rips pretty nice, though. And I am very... I mean, look at the smile on my face, man. It finally, right now, is ripping it to where now I, I feel I can have some fun with this thing. Plus, with that backyard track, the backyard track is really made for uh, those larger scales and vehicles that are just more, you know, you'd say more resilient or whatever. But for the price that this thing is, I don't think you could beat it. Well, I mean, you could probably beat it, but it's not that bad. Um, I, I'm happy with it. Meant to say how... Oh, <laughs> That's <laughs> the dead TT, Brian. It ran pretty good other than popping a pin. And it, that might have been my... Well, the crash was my fault. So either way, it was my fault. But I might not have tightened something all the way down. Or it just needs that chassis brace. You like your TT. It rips good. But right, right. But look at it. It's so small. It's not... It's For the stuff I guarantee, Deontay, that you do to it... Uh, yeah, you, you have to have a pretty tough vehicle, man. So, you, uh, you rip it pretty good, guy. And we all have to remember this. So, even like Jason said from Arma, he was talking about how, you know, they put the vehicles together, not so that they break, but they put the vehicles together so that possibly 90% or maybe 80% of the people that go out there are not going to have the problems that the other 10 to 20 percent people have which you know is like you Deontay and Rich Duper Dash and like you know whoever else gets out there and and really smashes stuff you know what I mean like pushes stuff um I, I won't even put myself in that category because I think my my thrashings aren't anywhere near what what you guys are doing so I just I don't know you know I don't know I don't even know so, never jumped it before, only on road. Really? Wow. Flying Fortress is here? Where? Where's Flying Fortress? There you are. What's going on, guy? Oh, yeah, the, the Mini 8 thing. Yeah, I saw that. My, um... 
the owner of my LHS, he was like, he was trying to get me to buy that. He was like, dude, he's like, dude, I will give you like the best deal that you could ever get on this thing. And I, I backed off. I was just like, ah, it's too small. You know what I mean? He was like, I can't, I can't. Listen, this is probably the smallest ripper that I've got, is my guess. That is literally the smallest vehicle in my fleet. Fleet. It's a fleet. I can't believe I just said fleet. It's the smallest ripper in my fleet. RC guy, he pretty much said he made them have to have, have to have. Right, right, absolutely. I was, I was there on the live with you guys. I just didn't say nothing. Well, actually, I did say a couple of things, I think. I think I just said, hey, what's up? Something like that. No RC, hey, what do you mean no RC fun? You're afraid of getting wet? That, what's wrong with you? Most of the stuff nowadays has waterproof electronics. So just get out there and rip it. <laughs> right? Come on. Don't let a little water, don't let a little hurricane or tornado stop you. Get out there and just rip it. Have fun. Stop wasting time. <laughs> that TT is tiny, right? Right, right. It is almost like, it's like that borderline... Yeah, let's call it this. Let's call it one eleventh scale. <laughs> it is kind of. It, it, it well, it's the smallest one I've got. Well, no, it's actually not. I want to say it's the smallest real RC I've got. Douglas, what's going on, guy? Yeah, I wear a bunch of hats. I got a Chevy hat. I'm waiting for my Mopar hat. Got to have a Mopar hat. I got my Chevy hat. I got my uh, Diesel Brothers hat. But this has got the colors. You know what I mean? This has got the colors. Gold Goose came in. Did you fix that hat today. Discovery RC, what is going on, guy? How are you? All right, so anyways, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tune into uh, potentially what's broken or what is not broken. Nothing's broken. At least I don't think anything is broken on this thing. Um, I... Yeah, let's just, let's just, like, check it out. I gotta figure this out. Figure it out. All right, we got our mat here. Move our coffee, slide this mat in a little bit. Bring that camera up a touch. So this is the um, Hyper Habao TT. It's a little 110 scale ripper. Uh, it it can't, comes factory with these tires, which are fine for a specific type of driving, but not the type of driving that I do. Um, these tires could definitely go on something else. I I have a I have a very good idea what these tires are going to go on. J O R C. If you're if you're still around, these would make a very good tire for one particular vehicle that I have in mind. But these tires woke this truck up. These, these have such a high bite. Um, I am very pleased with these tires so far. So granted, you know, only time will tell um, how these things perform. I may try to throw these on the um, DB Pro. We'll see. Body's held on by three pins, two in the front, one in the back. Definitely picked up a whole bunch of roots and junk. 
So get rid of all that garbage not in my coffee. Make sure you disconnect your battery packs, by the way, when you're done. Don't, you know, you didn't see that. That was already disconnected. So I was running this thing on this battery pack. I have I've got to say, for a 50C pack, 8,000 uh, milliamps. This is an Ovonic Air. I um, so far. I mean, look at this pack. This pack has been through some stuff. I am very impressed um, with these packs. So I have two 8,000s and I have two 5200s. And both packs perform like very surprisingly for the price that you pay. The only downside sometimes is that it has a Dean's plug, um, and you'll see you'll see that on the the DBXLE video if you watch that. And I'm just gonna dump the dirt out right on my dog. <laughs> we got Haley down here. Hey, sweetie, what you doing? Good girl. Yeah, no, you get that dirt on you. All right. So what did we do here? So I I very I very highly suspect did something break? You know what? Actually, it does look like something broke. All right. But I actually have the upgrade for this. So this was all a part of that upgrade process that uh, this thing needed to go through. So instead of it flexing, the part broke, which is really, I hate to say it, it's really not that big of a deal. I'm not sad in any way because what's fun or what's nice is you have a couple of RCs. That way, if you end up with issues, you know what I mean? Like you can, you can keep ripping it because you just grab another vehicle and just go. RC guy, do I work? Yes, I do. Of course I work, guy. <laughs> do I work? <laughs> nah, guy. I just have money flowing in from Swiss bank accounts. I live off of the interest of my Swiss bank accounts. <laughs> All right, so this is what happened. So we did have a little bit of breakage, but I actually do have the replacement part. So it's really no big deal. Um, we did end up losing, I think that's a little sleeve piece, or maybe not. Is that a sleeve? Yeah, it is. So we did lose these little sleeve pieces, but that's really... Again, not that big of a deal. I do have the CNC upgrade to this top brace. And most likely at the same time, when I replace this brace, I'll also replace the chassis brace at the same time. So this is literally the only thing that happened was this piece broke. But again, like I said, I do have the upgrade for it. So so there's your discovery. Really not, I'm not, I'm not sad, man. When you see the video, I think you will be surprised at what I did with this thing and to say, possibly, why didn't this thing break sooner for the smashes that this thing went through? So, right, I work on RC's guy. I'm a wind chime. Dude, how did you know? I am a wind chime maker. You didn't know that guy? Dude, you never noticed all the wind chimes that are, that are on COVID and coffee? I'm a wind chime maker. Wind chime maker. <laughs> Let's put it this way. I try not to work. How's that? Does that sound better? Nah, I work. All right, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to put this together because now obviously I know what the issue was. Again, I'm still not sad because I really did have a blast ripping this thing. 
this thing did so well this time. These tires and wheels definitely assisted in its, um, I want to say, in some of its durability. So I'm just going to put all these screws back together. No sense in moving on with it. I already know what piece is broken. I already know what pieces that I need to get. I obviously need to get. And I think I have actually all the parts too. I have brand new um, arms for this thing. I have literally like every brand, every piece brand new for this thing ready to rip. So I'll do a, um, I think I'm going to do an upgrade video on this thing. Just throw in a couple of upgrades on it. I'll probably do like, um, you know, some clips from the destruction that happened today. But no big deal. <laughs> Jaguars, right? Yeah, you do know that, right? Nobody know one. Yep. I, I definitely I definitely get paid well working on Jaguars. Because most mechanics give up. <laughs> most mechanics give up on the Jaguars. But if you just... You know, just take a step back. Jaguar, right? Yeah. Again, not sad at all. Very, very happy with how this thing performed, man. Yeah. Here we go. Get the dog bone in there. Come on. Get back in your home. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm actually happy, man. This This thing is actually pretty cool now. With these tires and wheels, it, it like I said, it totally woke this thing up. I'm very pleased with it now. Um, I have no issue with it. Other than, you know, I want to get I want to get back out in the track and keep ripping it, man. It did so well. It really did a great job. I think I'm going to, um, I think I'm also going to, while I'm into it, I think I'm going to do up, do up the diffs as well. Frank Sluga, what's going on guy? Just pulled the trigger on a Typhon. Nice. I was wondering if there's anything to watch out for right out of the box. A couple guys in here I'm sure could give an answer to that. Very happy with that thing now. I just got to make sure I don't lose this pin. I think I'll put it in my little uh, vault here. Spare parts vault. So other than that, what is everybody up to? How about that video? Did anybody see that video on the DBXLE that I posted today? Just out of curiosity. I think it's I think it's it's already posted, right? It's monetized, it's posted. Gus's custom creations. Get that garbage out. <laughs> Gus, I got to tell you that DBXLE is a total pleasure to drive other than the beadlock wheels holding dirt after um, a jump. Because it seriously makes the wheels be way out of whack on balance when you are in midair. I do have um, I do have those pro lines that are for the uh, the uh, X Max. I got a set for the uh, DBXLE 2.0. So. That thing is going to be ripping those. 
Um, actually, hey, uh, Deontay, you still in here? Crispies, what's going on, guy? Wonder if Deontay's in here still. Deontay, did you take off? You might have. Yeah, he might be gone. Dang. Yeah, but he 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 could have walked away. He might be gone. Not everybody not everybody says goodbye. Sometimes you have to like get up and go. But that DBXLE, uh, it did. All right. So here's what's great, right? Because people, somebody made a comment one time about you know my my jumps and stuff, and they were like, ah, you know, it's not, it's not made like right or something. And it was just like, what do you mean it's not made right? It's like, these are dirt jumps that I like literally just pushed around with a snowplow blade. And big black. It's like what will happen is cars. I I will what I'll do. All right, this is my whole process, and I think I talked about it before. I'll take big black out into the backyard track with its plow blade. It's a V plow blade. It's a nine six blade, so it's not very. How do I say? Attached to big black. I think big black on itself is twenty two feet long. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. It actually, how, how many feet is Big Black? I don't remember. I remembered I measured Big Black with its plow attached. And I was just like, man, that is a Mack truck. Um, so when you take it out to the backyard track, if you've seen the track, try to picture that truck in the backyard moving dirt. Like, think about... My 900 point turns that I have to do to get Big Black to sometimes turn around and, and go like the other way. And when you think about it, back dragging with a plow blade on dirt does not work as well as it does on snow. Uh, especially when you're coming across roots. When you back drag with a blade, once that once that outer portion of the root, you know, is ripped off and you have just the slippery stuff inside. The, the blade just literally just hovers on the roots. So you have to like turn around and, you know, punch the roots so that you can rip them up and get them out of there. Now, Big Black just goes out there and does all the hard work. All the work, like, it would take me like, it would probably take me like six hours of wheelbarrowing uh, out there trying to do all that work. And there's no way I'm going to do that. Maybe I could do it and lose some weight, but I'm really not interested. Well, I am interested in losing the weight, but I'm not interested in the work. Um, besides, I ended up hurting my back a little bit, but when, 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 whatever. So, um, just try to picture that truck out back there and try to maneuver. You guys know how big the track is. You know what I mean? It's not, it's really not that nimble out there. So, to be able to have those jumps, and I take, what I'll do is I'll take those larger scale vehicles that I have, not the X-Max, because that hasn't even touched that hasn't even had a battery in it. But um, I don't think that thing has even touched the ground yet. Like, literally, it hasn't touched, like, floor. I think it's been on the bench. It went from out of the box onto the bench and then just stayed there. But the DBXLE, because it's it's 32 pounds of meat, I, I basically allow that car to form the jumps. And then literally every other vehicle behind it kind of helps fine tune it like all my berms like i think my berms were were pretty much created by the vehicles that are ripping it out there so when you have a nice heavy hitter that's 32 pounds that's four-wheel drive that's doing you know um power slides under power going around a turn it's spitting up the dirt and it's creating a nice berm on some of those areas. Yes, exposing roots. Every once in a while, i got to go out there with an axe. And i got to chop out some roots and stuff like that. But the track is being so manicured now. That I know, like today. After today, I know where my next jump is going to be. So, somebody had said, said something about the fire pit that I've got there. That obviously, that's a hazard. It is. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've hit that fire pit. And because it's brick, 
it's like hitting a tree, except it can cause more damage because what you're hitting is you're hitting something that's really solid. I mean, granted, a tree is solid, but a tree does have a little bit of... It has more cushion than a brick does. So uh, after, after ripping the DBXLE, I saw another location that I can have a jump that'll have a good run up. And what will be great is I'll be able to jump at distance. I'll be able to jump that fire pit. Now, can I ever, you know, possibly, you know, hit the junk wrong and, you know, crash into the fire pit? Yeah, but it is what it is. Um, you can't do anything about that. You know what I mean? So you just try to do the best you can. Thirty-two times I've hit that fireplace. Is that what you're saying? Burns? You mean BMS? I don't understand you anymore. Burns? <laughs> you don't vent. You don't vent the body of night. Just end up super long. Rip the X Max. Right, I will. Venting. Oh, you guys are talking about something else. Post it on your post. On the page for specs. Are you talking? Are you Gold Goose? Are you talking to me? Because I don't think you're talking to me. You're probably not. Wait a minute. What do we got here? <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. If you call I mean, Oh, anybody have any thoughts on the um, Horizon Hobbies new uh, layout for their uh, website? Just out of curiosity. I know I've got an opinion. Lauren Cronish, what's going on, guy? Get my DR10 out and start ripping. Yeah. Nah, it's actually too windy for that. I, I suspect I'd have some pretty rough issues with the DR10 today. It's way too windy on my street. Fortress, you taking off, man. We'll see you later.
So what else is going on? Nothing? Where's Mitchell? Is Mitchell here? No Mitchell, no Mets, no Chef. Wow. Whole bunch of people missing. J.O. I think is still here. Check it out. Check it out. Look what's look what's in Dante's vehicle. Nice. Dante's got something right there. That is awesome, man. That is awesome. That is so cool, man. To even to even have one. Yeah. The the DB uh, Pro Low C Tenacity DB Pro is absolutely awesome. <laughs> Great video. Should put a trailer on the back. What? The heck is that? What does that mean? Ah, oh, where is it? Great. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> right. That would, you know what? That would actually be a, that, that would be awesome. Chris, Chris, Cattell, uh, Cattell. Oh, man. That's an actual awesome idea. Now that's an awesome idea. Could you picture the DBXLE 2.0 being pulled by the X Max? That would be a thing. Could you? That's what should happen. That's what should happen. Put a trailer hitch on the back of the X Max. Make a trailer. That can pull the DBXLE around. That would be mint. I like that idea. You know what would be even cooler? If is if you could do a gooseneck. Do a gooseneck somehow to the um you know that that click quick release thing. That would be mint. I think I might have to enlist Mitchell's RC in building a trailer. That would be mint. Right, Gold Goose Game, right. What a weird name. Why is it called a laser nut? <laughs> is it laser mutt or nut? You heard Losi is working on a new tenacity rig. Are you talking? So you guys must be talking about that thing. I can't see the word. Does that say laser mutt or laser nut? And even if that's the case, man, that's a funky name. Laser nut. What are you driving? I'm driving a laser nut. Sounds like some kind of sounds like some kind of operation to me. Dante, you interested in having a laser nut operation? <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, that's terrible. That's just some good coffee here. My bad, it's... Ah, <laughs> yeah, see? It's not a laser nut. <laughs> ah, laser. Right, laser guy. <laughs> laser nut. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like uh, from the picture. Obviously, it's very, it's a very bland picture. But if if Losi puts in whatever they did with that, whatever they did with that DB Pro, if it's DB Pro ish, man, that'll definitely be another vehicle to pick up. I don't have a high performing uh, rock racer. The only rock racer that I have is the um, the Camo X4, and that does good for what it is. It's a it's a it's a red cat, you know. It, it it I feel it it does its job, especially with the modifications that I did to it. Put in that 3D printed uh, battery tray that worked out mint. That totally changed the way the vehicle reacts on jumps. It gave her a lower center of gravity. It increased the strength overall of the chassis to the um to the front diff um what else did it do lowered the battery moved it forward it changed its battery's position so now it's all the way forward which works out well no it's not all the way forward it's centered that's right and i think the only thing that's broken on it right now is just one of those uh a front hub or something like that and any of the breakage that happens on that it's it's deserved because i'm doing stuff to it that shouldn't happen i should be out there ripping it right now man this is a good get out there and rip it day what do you what do you think end this covid and coffee and get back out in the backyard track and rip it some more i think the dba well, yeah. The DB Pro now would probably really love that backyard track. What do you think? End COVID and coffee and go rip it? I think that sounds like a good idea. Any thumbs up? End COVID and coffee and just get out there and rip it? Muhammad, what's going on, guy? Keep talking like that, and they'll kick you out of Massachusetts, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll go rip it too, Gold Goose? Go do it, guy. Was excited to rip the Slash in 3S, but not anymore. Oh, no. Joe, what's going on, guy? Before you go rip it, bud, just wondering if you still have your Camo... I was just talking about that. Dude, I was just talking about the Camo X4. What are your thoughts on it? upgrades I should do when I get mine? It's currently shipping. So, number one, remember what kind of a vehicle it is, meaning it's a rock racer. It's not an X-Max. It's not... You know what I mean? It's not a, a, a ripping buggy. It's a rock racer. So... If you treat it like a rock racer, I run it. I run it on 3S only now. Um, modifications that I've done to it. One modification that I've done to it is I changed the location of the battery tray. I 3D printed a battery tray for it that ties in basically the chassis 
to the uh, front, basic, basically the front differential bulkhead, whatever, uh, case and shock tower and servo, whatever. A T-bone front bumper will definitely be your friend. I would definitely upgrade the, at least the lower uh, trailing links, trailing arm links. I would upgrade those to aluminum. Uh, other than that, if you drive it hard, have maybe a couple of spares, but don't forget to just do a little bit of that WD-40 treatment to the front end, and it will probably help on flexibility if you overdrive that vehicle. If you get breakage, you're point blank overdriving it, you can overcome it. Get rid of those, those lower link arms. Yeah, lower link arms, get rid of those. I didn't replace the little blocks. I didn't do the, uh, I didn't do that brace, the rear end brace. Um, battery tray is big. Get it out from being on the back. Get it low and down. Um, I might release the STL file for that. I just, what I don't like is that it's not perfected. So releasing an STL file that's got my name on it, that's not perfect, it bothers me. So it works for me, and I haven't had to replace it. It needed a little bit of clearancing on the front. But um, that's all I can think about. It's it's a it's a good little it's a good little rock racer. You can have some fun with it. I've definitely I've definitely treated it way worse than it should be treated it, and it's taken such beatings. So yeah, that's it. Hopefully that worked, Joe, for you. It's a good little ripper. All right, RC Master, we'll see you later, man. Yeah, no problem, Joe. Anytime. All right, I am gonna end this COVID and coffee. I wanna. I gotta do. I gotta do some other stuff. I gotta do like stuff like in the house too. I actually have to because I my dining like if you see my dining room table right now. Yeah, actually, I'll show you. How about that? I can actually walk you guys around. I can show you the dining room table right now. You ready to get dizzy? All right. All right. Take you for a quick little walk here. You can stay out. You're fine. So this dining room table right now is actually clean. And my wife has been, you know, after me to clean it up. But I'm just going to put this over here for now. So... I've taken over the dining room uh, table just temporarily, and this does need to change. I am going to do a couple what's in the boxes. So we did get this thing right here. I got to tell you right now, if you're looking for a GoPro like accessory case, definitely go ahead and get this uh, case. This thing was only 18 bucks on Amazon. It was a um, one of those lightning deals, and. Everything that came in this thing, I mean, granted, I don't, I don't really have a use for the chest protector thing, but I'm sure I can figure something out with it. Maybe I'll put it on my dog, um, let her GoPro around. But everything that this kit came with is 100% usable in a sense, uh, fairly good quality. What I definitely would say is don't, don't breathe in the smell when you first open it because it definitely smells like walking into Harbor Freight. Um, but everything in here came with a ton of like different mounts and just all kinds of stuff. I'm going to do a what's in the box for this thing right here. This is a uh, max cam. I'll do a what's in the box for this thing right here. This is a uh, triple charger for the uh, GoPro. He yeah, Heary. For the GoPro Heroes. Um, that's the charger I use. There's a battery pack that's sitting there that probably shouldn't be on a wooden table. Uh, hey, there's my wallet. <laughs> this is actually one of the mounts that I used. Um, I already used this mount already. It worked out mint. 
It actually did exactly what I had hoped. Uh, this is one of those clip mounts. It's a very aggressive spring uh, clip mount. Like you've got to, you got to press it pretty good. It's a very aggressive spring, which is nice because that means it's going to, you know, stay locked on. And then there you go. Look at that thing. Would you just look at it? That thing is so mint. With that set of tires and wheels on that thing, that really got woken up now. There's my VT. Uh, these are more GoPro uh, things that I got to open up and see what's inside of them. So you can never have, you can never have, I guess, uh, too many GoPro like things. So these are just different kits from different companies that's effectively like this kit right here at slightly different price ranges, slightly different options and accessories that are inside. Um, what else? Oh, tripods. This is a good tripod to have. This was actually, uh, I think this was uh, by a company called Evo. Uh, this is an all-metal tripod. This thing is actually very well-constructed. It's more of a flat tripod, so when it extends out, it sits more flat. That's a good tripod to get. These little floaty things. I don't have any use for that. Here's my, um, this tripod's nice. So this, tr this tripod's a better tripod to have in your hand because of how it's made. Uh, it sits a little bit higher, which is fine, but it's definitely easy to throw like a phone mount on top of here, and you can very easily spin this thing very quick in your hand by using the little detents. So... Instead of like doing like those transition effects like in post on editing software, you literally, you just, you can, well, doing it with the wrong hand, but you can literally just index your finger and spin it and you get like, like, I guess kind of like that effect. This is my, um, these are my two speed rippers right here. Uh, this thing actually needs to be cleaned up. You got that thing pretty dirty. Uh, got a video on that, got a video on that. This is my EPX. I took the cab off so that I could get better, uh, let's say less wind resistance out of this thing. So far, 67 miles per hour. I point blank know that it has more in it, but 67 for now. Uh, this right here, I won't tell you what the speed of that is. You'll just have to go see the video. Uh, that thing is actually ripping it pretty nice too. That is a Hyper Habao uh, VT. It's currently running on 6S. Uh, the eventuality is to run that thing on 8S, but what I want to do is I want to push it on 6S until the 6S literally can give no more, and then we will 8S that thing. I already have an ESC ready to rip for this thing. I just, it's, yeah, it's just secrets. So, channel secrets. But... Again, would you just look at that thing? Losi Tenacity DB Pro. It is literally the best 110 scale open wheel buggy that I want to say that I've ever come across. So, yeah, just get out there and rip it. All right, guys? I'm going to end this live stream. And uh, hopefully everybody has the things on. Maybe, all right, guy has a battery, right, battery relocation, right, like the dog idea, I did that before, right, with some mods, the Camo X4 is absolutely awesome, it really is, the Camo X4 actually is a real good vehicle, Yeah, you know, as long as you don't, as long as you don't push it, you know what I mean? Eight S is enough to go around. Right. All right. All right. I'm out of here. You guys have yourselves a good day. Thank you for coming to this COVID and coffee. Don't forget on the way out, hit a thumbs up. There's only nine of them in there, and there's like 19 people on here. Come on, guy. Just hit that thumbs up before we end it. Let that thing like explode. Oh, now we have 18. Somebody dumped out. All right.
I'm out of here. You guys should get out too. Get out there and rip it. Like I always say, just have some fun, man. Put a smile on your face. Just enjoy the day. Be kind to people. Just whatever. Just just be good. How about that? I'm out. We'll, uh, we'll see you later. Thanks for coming.